All right, what's up, you guys? I'm here with ECW One Night Stand 2005. This is one of those universally loved pay-per-views. You know, so many people cherish this pay-per-view and consider it one of their favorites. And, you know, I'd even consider it one of the best of all time. We had, on June 12th, 2005, we even have a little thumbtacks instead of periods. Nice little detail. But this cover epitomizes what ECW stands for. You know, you don't need some flashy photoshopped cover. You know, this is it. You know, this is that grunge feel to it, and, you know, I love it. Yeah, whoop, whoop, dropped it. We have the ECW logo. You have the barbed wire. I'll show you the spine there. And of course, this was released in 2005. You have pretty cool artwork on the back here. The ECW originals. Three hour run time. And I'll just have to read the match listing off the back here because we don't have an insert. We had Lance Storm versus Chris Jericho. Rey Mysterio versus Psychosis. You know, great little throwback match. Um, revisiting that great rivalry. You know, that rivalry went through ECW, WCW, and WWE. So, a little accomplishment there. Three way dance to Jiri versus Super Crazy versus Little Guido. Eddie Guerrero versus Chris Benoit. And then Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman versus Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley. And we also had, what, Mike Awesome and Masato Tamnaka, I believe that's what it was. It's not listed on here, but that was a great match. Very hard hitting. And we have just the superstars listed there, or extremists, whatever you want to call them. You know, we have the return of Robbie and Dan with Bill Alfonso. You have Al Snow with Head. Don Marie. C.W. Anderson. I, I'd actually say C.W. Anderson and Tommy Dreamer. The I Quit match they had in 2001. That's probably one of my favorite ECW matches, to be quite honest. And then we have your discard work. Very old school ECW feel to it. But overall, you know, this is one of those things where it might have been better as a one-time event. But it is what it is. I enjoyed 2006 equally, honestly. I know a lot of people would criticize me for that. But 2005 and 2006, I thought they were great events. It's just what happened after that, you know. Bringing it back as a third brand and everything. That was just honestly bullshit. But let me know what you thought of this pay-per-view, and let me know if you enjoyed this one or 2006 better. I always thought that was interesting. So for now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.